Hi, I'm Louise. Welcome to Fit to Thrive. Today we are going to do high intensity interval training. So, what is high intensity interval training? Kind of uh, is the name. So, we're going to push ourselves, we want to get our heart rate up there. So, it's got to get up high. So, what we're looking for is towards the maximum heart rate zone. So, if you've got a smartwatch, it will be the red zone on it. Um, if you've got something, anything that measures your heart rate, okay? So we want to get, so your maximum heart rate is 220 minus your age. So you want to sit around 90 to full on to that if you can. So it's not comfortable, but it's not meant to be. So many health benefits for training this way. A massive one is reduction of triglycerides, which is the fat in the blood. If you follow um, several doctors to follow, so like Dr. Peter Attia, Dr. Andrew Huberman, and Dr. Rhonda, Rhonda Patrick, they all talk about the benefits on high intensity interval training for your cardiovascular health, that's your heart health. Okay, so we do want to push ourselves, we do want to get a bit uncomfortable, take the options that are right for you. So there's always options without impact, but you just want to get the pace to make yourself pant, okay? <laughs> Yep, we're going there. Okay, so first things first, make sure you've got plenty of space to move around in. Make sure you've got some comfortable shoes on. You want trainers on. Please don't try and do this in flip-flops. It's not going to end well. Okay, so we want trainers on and we want them tied up nice and tight. Drink of water and possibly a towel. Okay, it's short and sweet, but it gets you there. Okay, so the first thing to do, I'm going to press on my timer. We're going to do 30 seconds of work. You're going to get 15 seconds of recovery. We're going to do 10 moves, okay? And we're gonna repeat that for a second time and then you're gonna cool down. So it's not that bad, right? Okay, so let's get, get into the workout. So let me just press start on my timer. I just want you to gently march on the spot or try and jog. So it's up to you where you go. And we're gonna pump the arms, lift the chest and pull your shoulders back and down and your abs engaged. So that's a brace. So we're gonna pull the belly button in, pull the ribs down and that's your core nice and strong. And we start to speed it up, so remember, Injuries, you're just going to march really, really fast, or you're going to run on the spot. So, five, four, three, two, one. Now, you're going to step wide, you're going to touch down and reach up, down, up. So, you want to lengthen those hamstrings that might be tight up and down for me. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to air squat, so feet outside the hips, butt back and down, chest up, and warm those hips up. It's all about prepping and priming your body ready for the workout. Now we're going to rotate from the air squat, so you come down and twist each way. Pivot the heel, get the chest up. One way to know if your back muscles are too tight, when you squat this happens, okay, you need to stretch them out. So. Let's stretch out those lats. Do a squat and a reach. I wonder if you're like you're expanding the ribs. Can you go further each side? Most people try and just that. I want you to really open out. So expand, reaching. Four, three, two, one. Now some hip circles. Just circle the hips. Four times on one leg, four times the other, and you do that again. So you get those hips prepped. Other side. So we're doing four hip circles. Find your range of movement. So we're warming it all up. Now we're going to warm up the core. In an inchworm. So from here, slide down your legs. Walk long, now don't dip your hips. You wanna pull your shoulders on the back, keep the back long, pushing out the hands, and you walk back in. So this is a way to try and lengthen these, because a lot of people have tight hamstrings. And then we do two more. Squeeze the glutes and the thighs here, pull the shoulders down, push out the hands, start to warm everything up. Now you should be getting warm now, okay? Last one, you're gonna come up, I'm gonna wake the legs, heel to the butt. So again, if you have bad knees, your option is to kick the heel to the butt or take a little bit of a bounce with it. 
again, options, take them, okay? Or wherever you are, move. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna squat jump. So feet just outside the hips, hands up by the side, lift the chest, core on, and land soft. So from the side, hips back, chest up, middle jump. Again, heavy way to get you nice and warm. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go to skaters. So tap the heel to your ankle, bend your knee, arms flow like a nice skater, chest up, hips back, knees bent. So option, that impact will be stepping. But you wanna go as fast as you can and minimal time on the floor. When that foot touch down, you're going. Okay, you're not going, okay, we're not dancing. We're pushing, four, three, two, and one. Just circle the shoulders, jog on the spot, take a torso twist, and you're ready for your workout. So now we do, 10 moves, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds recovery, two rounds, okay? So your first move is an air squat. So if you the part, chest up, I'm gonna give you two options for this. So take your hips back, if the chest starts to dive, you've gone too far for you today. So you wanna come down with as much as you can, chest up and you click the heels. So this is your first option. To the side, up, back and down, click. Or if you're more energetic, there's another option. Land with soft knees on this one. So reach down and click the heels. Okay, so that's called an air tap. So you've got three seconds to get yourself ready. We can go 30 seconds. So three, two, one, and let's get it. So options, tapping, chest up, core brace, or going up. Are you clicking the heels? Can you feel your legs? Because you should. Okay, so whichever one is right for you. So show from the side, got my feet outside the hips, I'm reaching down, pushing my knees out, I'm gonna push out my heels and click or down. Okay, you're down here, you're just going to speed and time. Now you're going to rest. Your next one, massive helper of running. So it's called a pop spot. To be in the part, you're going to reach down and over here. Off your the leg, straight up. Same leg each time, and then you're going to sprint. So you come down, pop it, and then sprint. Down, pop it, and then sprint. We've got 30 seconds, let's go. Down and then sprint. We're going to stay on the same side. So from here, slow motion down, then pop. You're going to drive opposite knee to elbow and then use your arms to sprint from that. 10 more seconds. And time. Well done. Recover. We do the other side. Same thing, just the other side. Breathe. Three, two, one, let's go. So you reach down towards the ankle and then snap. So from the side, reach down, find the butt back, bend the knees, and a big drive up, and then sprint the arms. So use them, okay? Most people try and do this, kind of like this, and then knees are down there. We don't want that. It's gonna help strengthen your hip flexors. Hip flexor strong, there's knee pain. The knees are the buffer for everything that anchors the hips don't do, so make them strong. Last one, and time, breathe. Now you're gonna hit the deck for mountain climbers. Hands back right to the shoulders, you've got five seconds, and push the shoulders down the back, driving the knees down the center. If you really need to, we can do this option instead. Push out the hands, side shoulder down the back, and drive the knees down the centre, okay? You're going to feel the ribs going down to hips, strong in your core. So set yourself up and let's ride it. You've got 30 seconds. You should be well into this now. Now if the knees are in the air, it means your bum is doing a downward dog. So we we'll take it down. Three, two, one. Time. Now, power burpees. So feed the part and come down the crown. So you take, sit the hips back, hands to the floor, 
kick them back. Step and land up. Staying down. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. We're down here. Lifting up. Okay. Now, options on this one. You can go down into a squat. You can step back, step back, step, step. Lift up, stay down. There's no reason why you can't do this. Just take the options. Three, two, and one. Come on up. Now, shake out. You're going to hit the deck for a walking plank. Knees or toes, we're going to walk sideways. So again, set the hands underneath the shoulders. Put the shoulders on the back. You're going to walk across and your 30 seconds is on. So if you need it, drop into the knees. Push the hands out the floor, shoulders down. And just a slight lift to the knees. This is another alternative. Drop the knees down, give yourself a break. Or all the way up. This is a great way to work your core, your back muscles, and your shoulders. Five more seconds. And time. Roll the wrist, you're gonna need that. Shake it out, we'll go shoulder taps. So I'm trying to load the areas in case you hadn't noticed. Come back to shoulders and you go back to legs after this. So shoulder taps, down on all fours. Tap in the shoulder. Three, two, one. So option on the knees. Push out the floor, make sure these are in alignment. Pull the ribs to hips, tap, tap, or on all fours, tapping. What you need to do is squeeze your glutes really hard and squeeze your thighs to stop the hips from rocking on this one. That's the main thing people tend to do is rock their hips and that's not stable and we want stable. You've got five seconds. And time. Now you get to come off the ground, okay? Squat jumps. Reach outside the hips, hands by your side, lift the ribs, and jump. So you've got three seconds to recover. Three, two, one, 30 seconds on the clock. So wherever you are, even if it's a little micro jump, better than nothing, right? It's better than just staying still, right? We will improve that bone density every time we jump. So you might be able to spring up high, you might be a little one. Wherever you are, come into the workout and challenge yourself. Five seconds left. Two, and time. Now, we're gonna do a little combo. Three lateral skaters, you're doing a warm up, or one jump. So you go three, two, one, jump. Three, two, one, jump. Set yourself up. Three, two, one, let's go. So it's jump, jump, up. Side, side, jump. So option is step, step, fast, and a jump. All you want, minimal time on that floor. Do you wanna come off of it? So lift the chest, shoulders back and down. Side, 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 jump. Side, 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 jump. Now why do we need to do this? Reaction and speed. You want it, you need it, we need to keep it for as long as we can. And time. Now, plank challenge, hit the deck. 10 seconds recovery, last move. And then we do them all again. So your plank, feet apart, elbows on the shoulders, pull the shoulder down the back. Draw your belly button up and in, option knees down. But this is not a plank, okay? Uh-uh, bum down. Three, two, one, 30 second hold. So you wanna draw your belly button up and in, push out the forearms, slide the shoulders on the back, kick the heels back, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your glutes, and that's where I'm gonna stay for 10 more seconds. And time. Okay, recover. Step two, back to your air squats. Breathe. So are we ready? So we have option one, this, or option two, kick your heels. So you've got 15 more seconds, Akio. There's more recovery in between the sets. Great job. <laughs> Thank goodness you say, you've got time for a quick drink. Three, two, one. And now we go down to air squats. So remember, chest up, hips back, click the heels. So if you're taking this option, we want speed. When you're pushing out the floor, 
just to recruit the muscles and build the stronger legs. Okay, and get the heart rate up. Remember, it's a lot about heart rate as well. Or are you going for it and jumping up? Maybe not, maybe you're in a flat and you want to just click the heels. Three more seconds. Time. Rest. Top squat into your sprint, okay? So you're going to drop down, same arm and leg, and move it again for the next one. And your sprint. Breathe it. And let's go. So we reach down, chest up, and drive, catch. So you want to use your core to catch as you drive that knee up. Opposite arm and knee. And again, strengthen knees. So same arm and leg, up, and then sprint. Down, fast sprint. Get that catch. 15 seconds. The first time you do it, you might not have the coordination. And that's another reason why we need to do this. Coordination, your central nervous system. And time. Same thing, other side. Okay. Ooh. You're getting hot and sweaty right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, other side. So reach down, hold it onto knee, snap it, and then pump it. We're going to try and make it fluid. So we sit the hips back, the drive, pull those ribs to hips and catch. Okay, if you really want to on the way up, again, vertical drive. So extension, agony in the hips, make it all strong. 10 seconds now. And time. Hit the deck, mountain climbers. 30 seconds. Remember, your knees should be an inch off the floor. Okay? Yeah. Make sure the hands are on the shoulders so the shoulders are happy. When we tend to pull back, it makes the shoulders unhappy and we don't want that. So we don't want injuries. And the shoulders, 30 seconds on now. Spine long and then drive those knees down the centre. You may be able to do them cross if you want to, but we're just gonna go and do them down the centre. Okay, so find your rhythm, find your pace, because you should be halfway. The more you push out the hands, the more you feel those shoulders getting stronger. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're done, but we're not done. Power burpees. You've got 10 seconds to recover from this. So butt down, hands down, kick into a plank, squeeze glutes, step, stay low, lift up. Ready, go, 30 seconds now. Remember your option, it can be hands down, step, 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 lift off. Choose what you need, okay, choose what you need. But you wanna move with speed, get the heart rate up, you're halfway. So it can look like this, Stepping or jumping. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, shoulder taps next. Quick shake out the wrists. I'm down. Knees hit the part. So from here, you're on the knees. Pull down, engage the core. Pushing the floor, tapping here. 30 seconds. Let's go all. Come with me. Feet are up. So again, minimal rock through the hips. Don't let the hips rock. You need to squeeze your thighs and your glutes really hard and push hard into the ground. Think of wrist dragging from there and shoulder stroke to halfway. So you have to fight the hips doing this. Go as much as you can. Two and one. Rest. Roll the wrist out. We are done. Now we can to squat jumps. The feet just hip width apart. Chest up. And rise. 30 seconds now. So it doesn't matter how high you're going. Challenge yourself, right? Get as high as you can. What's high for you? But you need to lift the ribs. Because that makes you weightless temporarily, like the torso, not your whole body. Just be clear on that. <laughs> you do. I'm gonna lift the ribs to make this lighter and then you can go higher. Three, two, and one. Now, three skaters, one jump. 10 seconds. Breathe, so I'm just gonna show you quickly. So it's step, step, and jump. 
three, two, one. So skater, skater, jump. Skater, skater, lift ribs and jump. Option, step, step, little jump. Step, step, little jump. So you do three, little jump. Land with soft knees, brace this. Halfway. Do a minimal time on that floor. You see my knees are soft the whole time. Last one, plank hold to finish. So hit the deck, elbows under shoulders. We'll keep up back, spine long, pull the shoulders down, draw the belly button up and in. Squeeze thighs, let's go, 30 seconds. How to slow down time, right? <laughs> Keep that tailbone tucked under and then pull the shoulders on the back. Kick your heels back. Push out the forearms. Now you should start to shake. We're halfway. Breathe it. Fight the shake. Fight fatigue. Because we need that. That's how we're going to grow some muscle, right? Get stronger. Big deep breaths. And time. Well done. Come on up. Now from here going to roll the shoulders, march on the spot and let's bring our heart rate back down because it's, yes it's hard and fast but it's also short and sweet. <laughs> okay so we don't do this for a long time but as I said there's so many benefits for your health of training this way and also re speed and reaction training because we lose our speed as we get older because we start to lose muscle and we need to fight that and we need to keep moving quicker because if we keep moving slowly, we just slow right down. So nice big deep breaths. Start to roll the shoulders. Get it away. And try and get a nice big movement through the shoulders. Four. One, so much in the legs. Take a shoulder stretch. Other side. We don't want to stand still because the heart rate is still going to be up, so we need to bring it down slowly, which is why we're marching whilst we stretch. Take a bicep stretch. Take an elbow form and wrist stretch. Again, other side. So we take hold of the fingertips. Arm down low. Rise it up. Elbow form and wrist. You can roll those wrists so your wrists might feel that. That's okay. But they need to get stronger before we do it. Again, loosen everything off. So open out wide, give yourself a nice big hug. Open out that chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Now in side lunge, you're gonna step nice and wide, lift the chest, hands on your hips, slight to the toes, and just stick the hips back from side to side. Sway, so loosen off your lower back, tuck the shin, relax your the shoulders. Then from here, walk the hands and pedal the feet, stretching the calves just a little bit more. Pressing the heels to up. And hopefully your heart rate is starting to come back down to normal now. And that's another way to uh, test your fitness, is how quickly you recover. And go into that high heart rate. 
and as you get fitter, the time should shorten that you need to recover from it. Press the heels down, walk yourself in. More hamstring stretch. Slowly roll up. How the hip flex is feeling. Okay, so let's get the quads first. So we step wide, kick the heels to butt. So it's an active quad stretch here. Option if you want to go there, just open up the chest. Or you just stay focusing on the legs, it's your choice. If you still feel tight, add on the arms. Over here, we take a nice big torso twist. And let's actively stretch the back. So think hand over hand, sorry, not hand over hand, hand over hand on the shoulder. Arch your back, pull the spine back. So we tuck the chin, pull on the shoulders, stretch in between the shoulders. And then we're going to take the hand behind our back, thumb to bottom rib, squeeze the elbows in, squeeze glutes and pull back. Well, again, other side, so we swap the other arm, hand shoulder, tuck chin, pull spine backwards, and then open out. Then we're going to make it bigger now. So now we make it hand on hand and pull, spine back, tuck chin, and then come back, lift the chest, squeeze and open it out. One more time. And then release, just shake everything out. Roll the shoulders, take a nice big circle on the neck. Slowly, side to side. Down and up. A little more shake out the wrists and the ankles. And well done. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please make sure you drink canal because you've probably sweated quite a bit. And I will see you soon. I'll see you later. Take care.